हेलो क्या है तुम या है ओके रिपीट सो दिस इज अमित एक्चुअली सॉरी आई वाज आई एम लेट बाय फ्यू मिनट्स सो जस्ट टू स्टार्ट आई विल गिव अ ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू व्हाट वी डू हियर एंड व्हाट इज आवर एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम द रूल व्हिच वी आर इंटरव्यूइंग यू फॉर सो वी आर बेसिकली एन एंड्राइड टीम ऑफ अराउंड 20 मेंबर्स ओके एम आई ऑडिबल यस यस यू आर ऑडिबल बट सो वी हैव सम डिस्टरबेंस Yeah, so I'm saying we are basically audio team, uh, Android team of around uh, 20 members. So mm-hmm. we work on smartphones. We have fleet of uh, smartphone products, and we are growing slowly. So currently, we like if you have any idea or any background from Android side, we take the uh, Google base code from our vendor. Mm-hmm. There are now n number of vendors working on us, and then we take the code from them. And once we have the code base, which is huge in case of Android. within 400 gb or maybe more and then we set up it on on our local server and then i mean there the role of devops starts and then we have multiple worker uh, developers working on git client and we use gerrit as git server or maybe you can say github if you have worked on github <coughs> and then uh, i mean our regular commits goes so this is our basic structure Uh, of devops it is simple it is not that complex we have our, our own local servers so we don't work on like uh, we don't have external servers or anything like that so our main focus is on git gerrit and then we have uh, jenkins as ci cd tools where we <coughs> write groovy scripts to stage our jobs so this way we work okay. so this is our total setup so can you just brief about your work so that we can start so should i uh, elaborate about my last company or last last company or total i mean i you just elaborate general work which you have done and general tools from reality of devops okay so if i talk about the mdoc so the work which you have explained but uh, there uh, it was entirely different so in mdoc i was in uh, application migration team so i was working with at&t and microsoft so in total there were 4000 applications which were distributed between amdocs accenture ibm microsoft and one other and uh, we were supposed to migrate uh, our on prem applications to cloud in azure so my task was a, as a platform engineer was to create the resources for the production environment using uh, terraform and uh, to check if the any error is coming during the deployments uh, i mean if there is any error so uh, my task was to clear it and deploy all the resources for that and bas- and most of the times i was involved in the windows vms and a little bit of uh, linux part as well before that i was working in bssc project so bssc was uh, since amdocs is a product based company so it it was their own product inside that uh, there were uh, multiple uh, application like uh, tax calculator etc so uh, the environment was consisted of nexus jenkins and all that uh, stuff and bit bucket so developers used to push their code in the nexus and in the morning we had the meeting with the, the qe team they used to tell us what are the changes in the code and we used to do the okay. changes in the code what bucket what is bit bucket bit, bit bucket is the uh, i mean repository kind of thing it is very similar to that of uh, git hub so yeah, okay. the code was directly uh, there but uh, unlike in cloud migration program i used to copy the code in terraform on my personal laptop but uh, in bssc project the code was used to be there only so uh, every day there was a patching task one was in morning and one was in the afternoon after that we were done with the changes according to the ms word document uh, we used to push that in changes and uh, manually run the jenkins pipeline so if the jenkins pipeline was failing so all the scripts were uh, written already in the jenkins and uh, those were shell scripts not uh, the groovy so uh, uh, is there any option in jenkins to do it uh, automatically i mean by way of automation why you have to do it manually jenkins because uh, it was a project requirement Okay, so if I have to do it, uh, I mean auto mode, then how I can do that? Do so for the auto mode, uh, we use will we will use Chrome expression or Perl SCM. You uh, and uh, 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 write the appropriate scripts, and in that way it will run automatically according to the our time. Uh, 
बट ऑटोमेशन as soon as the build is triggered that's the, what the jenkins do but uh, as far as my project was concerned uh, it was manual and after that uh, we had to prepare uh, an excel sheet and uh, uh, in our uh, scrum meeting we had to tell all the changes and if any changes were required we have to do further so that was the bssc project previously i was working in uh, kmg it services so that was the project uh, there were the sumitomo and insurity kind of projects and that, uh, i was working there uh, one year back so my task so, was to so you are on uh, groovy scripting right and jenkins uh, you groovy, must be using some scripting here so groovy scripting i the code i stand, uh, i understand but i am not uh, written actually so one is uh, i mean uh, there are two ways to write the Uh, groovy script one is declarative and one is the other so in that we write various stages like build stage test stage and uh, after that we keep in uh, that in jenkins so after that the build is deployed so is it sequential like every stage stage has to be after another or like we can do it parallel also like uh, stages running in parallel uh, stages are running in parallel also we can do because in my uh, Uh, pro, uh, project in bssc uh, i mean there were a lot of uh, environments created so i used to work on non prod environment production was being handled by some other people fine so i have a basic question for you like in git uh, say i am i am a developer and i am working on a feature and that feature is a big feature and in middle of my feature work i got some another urgent uh, work like maybe some issue and then for that i have to sing the latest code from big bucket you have worked on with big bucket so let, let's check big bucket so if i do that how i can ensure that my existing work is not lost so either we will use git, git stashing or uh, we will use the branching concept second one is what is the second option branch because if a developer is working in parallel and if i want to work in parallel so we can cre- we can create another branch and then work on it and merge in the master okay hmm. okay uh, so now uh, what, what uh, uh, this merging thing you have uh, uh, this branching thing you have brought so can you tell me the command to delete a branch locally and on remote branch uh, i have not uh, get branch re- command i don't know i mean i have not used it. okay uh, okay fine so another uh, from get only like say uh, what is the difference between git merge and git rebase and what do you think which one is better so git merge is uh, if we want to merge the m- multiple uh, branches into one uh, for the final code that is known as the git merge and what was the other git rebase git rebase i have not used uh, and merging do you think that whatever you have told that is the only uh, i mean that is the correct definition of merging uh, not exactly i was working in actually master branch always what is cherry picking I am not aware of it. Okay, what is merge conflict and how it comes? So if uh, uh, I mean uh, there are uh, 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 so if there are uh, the files uh, with the same name, that that time the conflict can occur. file with same name uh or at the same time. i have faced that issue once but uh, right now i am not able to recollect conflicting is uh, there and uh, we okay, can what are tra- uh, 
and uh, using uh, get, get ignore uh, we can fix that fine uh, no uh, i'm saying can you explain what is tracked and untracked changes uh, no right, right now i don't remember okay uh, rithik uh, what is your total experience 5 years and 10 months so you are currently with mdocs right or no actually are, what happened was the cloud migration project has been rolled off so my last working day was 4th of feb 4th of feb okay uh fine rithik uh, uh, i will give my feedback to acha thank you for your time she will update you accordingly okay thank you thank you Hey, Avinash. Hey, uh, Ritikul. Yeah, I am on hold. It's okay. It's okay, fine, man. I think we can rock. Yeah, thank you.